हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टूडे आई बी टेकिंग फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ कंसेप्ट बिल्डिंग सीरीज व्हिच इज गोइंग ऑन राइट नाउ आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड थ्री वीडियोस इन केस यू हैव नॉट सीन प्लीज सी देम आई विल बी गिविंग लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके चलो स्टार्ट करते हैं बच्चे लोग लाइन ए इज पैरेलल टू लाइन बी एंड व्हिच इज पैरेलल टू लाइन सी एंड लाइन एम एंड लाइन एन आर द ट्रांसवर्सल्स If length of x y is five, length of y z is three, and length of p q is three point nine, then length of q r is what? Now here the concepts, various concepts of parallel lines play a very very important role. Okay. Now here I am going to discuss one concept. See, these are parallel lines, right? And transversals are m and n. right this is line a this is b and this is c so whenever any parallel lines and intersect with this transversals whatever these portions are they are called as intercepts and they are in proportion with the intercepts of other transversals what i mean length of x y upon length of yz xy and yz will be equal to pq upon qr if you don't know this you won't be able to go ahead with this sum so this is very very important concept okay once you know this very easy xy 5 hai yz 3 hai they have given right pq they have given as 3.9 QR we will take it as x because we don't know we need to find out. So now we need to leave this x alone here. So what we will do? It is down. So we will bring it here and baki number ko both side lete hain. We will bring this x here. So x will be on top. Three point nine is already there this side. This three we will bring here into three and this five we will bring it down. Okay? Ye idhar aa gaya. Ye five idhar aa gaya. Ye three udhar. So x is alone here, okay? So चलो start करते हैं. Three point nine into three is how much? Nine three is a twenty seven. Three three is a nine plus two eleven. So eleven point seven upon five. So let's do it. If you are not comfortable doing it like this, you can very well do it like this. No problem. We want two marks. Five two is a ten. One before. Touching this decimal, we have to give decimal here. Then only this seven you can bring it down. Now five threes are fifteen. Two, then again zero. Five fours are twenty. Zero zero. Two point thirty seven. Ah, uh, sorry, thirty four. Two point thirty four is the answer. Q R is equal to two point thirty four. students please be careful here you must know this concept of intercepts these are intercepts so intercept of one line the ratio of these two is equal to the ratio of intercept of other line other transversal okay very very interesting correct chalo aage badhte hain The next sum, the diameter of a bullock cart wheel is 1.4 meter. How many times must the wheel rotate for the cart to cover a distance of 1.1 kilometer? Diameter they have given as 1.4 meter, and the total distance they have given as 1.1 kilometers, right? Now, rotation means you need to find out the circumference for sure, right? For one rotation means one circumference, right? So we need to find out the circumference. What is the formula of a circumference? Circumference of a circle is pi d. Or two pi r. Here they have given d. We'll make use of small d. Okay. 
So they have given D. If they would have given R, we would have made use of 2 pi R. Doesn't make any difference. So pi is 22 upon 7. D is 1.4 meters. Now if you don't want this decimal, you can rewrite this as fraction. 14 upon 10. 7 on the 7, 7 to the 14. So that is 44 upon 10. Right? Which is same as 4.4. Let's go ahead. Now this is one rotation. Meters. This was meter. So obviously the answer will be in meters. So 4.4 meter is one rotation. But we need to find out how many rotations to cover 1.1 kilometer. So if we divide this 1.1 kilometer by the circumference, we will get the number of rotations. So let's do it. Number of rotations is equal to circumference, sorry, total distance upon circumference. Please remember this. Now, number of rotations we need to find out. Total distance we have because they have given 1.1 kilometer. Please write here kilometer, meter, and circumference is 4.4 meters. Now, kilometer here, meter here. We can't go ahead with the division. We need to convert this kilometer into meter. So, how can you do that? 1.1 into 1000. 1.1 into 1000. Then it will be converted into meters. 4.4 is meter anyway. Right? Now, I have told you earlier in my videos. Whenever decimal wala number 1000, 100, 10 se multiply hota hai. So these number of zeros are very important. Three zeros. So your decimal will jump to the right three times. So now 1.1 hai na apna. 1, 2, 3. Decimal will come here now. So you need to fill up places with zero. So multiplication of this is 1100 upon 4.4. I hope you are understanding what I am doing. Right? This is the simplest way to convert decimal into normal number. When we multiply by 1000, decimal moves to the right by 3 places. Either tha, 1, 2 and this 3. So, either aake, ruke ga, decimal. So, 1100 zero zero is the answer. Now, again this See, many students are afraid of decimal. I don't know why. So that is why this elaborate explanation I am giving here. This decimal also I, I don't want. What can be done? I will move it this side. And this decimal is the right. That also this side. One one place to the right. So I need to fill up here. One thousand. Uh, one zero. So it will be eleven thousand. Upon forty four. Now no decimals. A decimal ki wajay se itna jump karna pad raha hai. Dekho. Right? So now let's do it. 11 4s are. 11 1s are. And 3 zeros. 4 1s are. 4 2s are 8. 4 5s are 20. And then 0. 250 rotations is the answer. See, if you can't understand this after seeing it for the first time, don't worry. See it again. There is nothing wrong. For some concepts, we need more practice. There is no harm seeing this again. And still, if you don't understand, let me know in the comment section. Right? Chalo, aage bad Average ages of 3 friends is 7 years. If their ages are in the ratio of 6 is to 5 is to 5, find the age of older friend. Okay, they have given the average as 64 years. Right? And the ratio is 6 is to 5 is to 5. Right? So to this ratio, if we attach x, it becomes their ages. Remember. So, even though we don't know the actual number, you can say 
that the elder one or the eldest one is six x years old and other two are five x years old. Now let's go ahead. Now they have given the average, right? What is the formula of average? Average is equal to sum of all the items, whatever are there, sum of n items, suppose, upon n. Now in this case, average they have given 64. Sum of n means all people or things, whatever, all ages, whatever they have given. Sum of everything. So 6x plus 5x plus 5x. How many things are there? 1, 2, 3. So n is 3. So let's go ahead. 64 is equal to 16x upon 3. Let's take this 3 that side. So it will be 64 into 3 is equal to 16x. No need to multiply this. Don't even waste few seconds. Why? Not needed. 64 into 3 leave it like that. And this 16 also bring it down and leave x alone. Now here division. Division, sorry. Division takes little less time than multiplication. And division brings you close to the answer sometimes. So when you want to divide, why to multiply here? 64 into 3 karke, bada number karke, 16 se divide karna will be more time consuming, isn't it? So leave it like that. 16 ones are 16, 16 fours are 64. So 4 into 3, 12. 12 is x. Now once we know the x, can't we find out the eldest one? 6x is bigger obviously than 5x. So the, this one is the eldest one. So they want the age of eldest one. So 6x, 6 into 12, 72 years. So simple, right? Here the concept of average and concept of ratio, which plays a very, very important role, right? These are all small, small concepts, but they may give you more and more marks because sometimes clever students get stuck up just because simple concept is overlooked by them. So we can't take chances, right? If circumference of a circle is 44 cm, then find area of a circle. Circumference they have given as 44 cm, right? And they are asking us to find out area. Here, first thing is you should know the formula of circumference of a circle. That is, circumference is equal to 2 pi r, right? Now, with the help of this formula, value of c they have given, value of pi we know, we will find out r. And with the help of that r, and with the help of formula of area, we will find out the area. Right? Chalo, aage hai. C means circumference they have given as 44. 2, pi is 22 upon 7. R we don't know. So, let's do it. Now, here I am not going to multiply. Don't waste time into multiplication. When we are going to divide, why to multiply? Keep it in that multiplication format. Right? See, 44. Now, I am. my intention is to leave R alone there. So, whatever numerical values are there, I am going to take it that side. So, this 2 was on top. That will go down. And this 22 upon 7 will be reciprocal. 7 will go up. And 22 will come down. Is equal to R. Now, very simple. 22, 1s are 22. 2s are 44. This 2 will go with this. So, R is equal to 7 cm. With the help of this, we will find out area. Area of a circle is pi R square, which are supposed to know. Okay? Chalo, find out karte hai. Pi is 22 upon 7. R is 7. Don't write 49. See, here the numbers are very small, 49. But if we give you uh, here uh, 13, then why to make it more, uh, big, big numbers? 169, kya hai? keep it 13 into 13. Okay? So, as far as possible, write it in the form of multiplication. Don't do the multiplication. Unless and until it is necessary, essential. Okay? Wherever we can avoid, keep it like that. 7, 7 there. 
so 22 into 7 that is 154 now here the answer will be centimeter square please be careful area in case of area we need to pay more attention to the units normally we don't like to trouble you we give all the options in centimeter square but if we want to test your alertness we might give the first option as 154 centimeter and by mistake if you choose that in a hurry in the pressure of examination two marks gone even though everything is right so here just looking at it it won't take few seconds but it will be guaranteed that two marks will be in your pocket so isn't it worth so in case of area pay little more attention to the units right okay students we are through with this video here i will come with the next video very very soon students in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and share videos and comment whether you are liking my videos or no how will i know that will encourage me to make more and more videos isn't it okay students i will come with the next video very soon till then study well and very important thing is correct enjoy studying bye